Alrighty, hello and welcome to something a little bit different. As the title of this video will probably say, I've gotten a little bit carried away this with this uh, very simple paperclip game. Um, you're not intended to do this, you're supposed to kind of play it in a day or two and get through the different stages. But the first time I played through this, I got to this stage right before the Hypnodrones, releasing the Hypnodrones, and I was disappointed because I wanted to figure out how much money you could get in this game just from selling paperclips. Because I believe right after you do this, money becomes nothing because the Hypnodrones are everything. And so what I've done is I've just sort of had this going along in the background for a couple months just to see how much money you could get. And even though there were a couple of problems, it was just sort of an interesting experiment. Um, the big earnings here is from this investment engine right here. As you upgrade it more and more, it becomes less of a loss, but you get more money from it. Um, you can tell that it wasn't really designed for this level of money because you can maximum get about a billion to maybe three billion in stocks. And as you can see, I've got 282 trillion. So I've gotten quite a lot of money from my paperclip mogul. And so um, I've just sort of been sitting on this. I haven't really used any of my investment money. Um, for anything so basically all of my upgrades I've gotten up to level 33 marketing just from paper clips which is a lot because that's that's 429 billion dollars right there to get to the next level and down here the mega clippers to get to the next one that's 33 million so that's a lot when I do something like that bam that was like literally a day or two's worth of revenue because it really exponentially grows quite quickly so I've been leaving this in the background of my monitor or my uh, laptop that's been running for <laughs> about two, two-ish months because I got into this around Christmas and then I wanted to see how far it would go and so I've just left it running. My laptop has been running anyway so I figured it can't hurt. But I figured now was the time because now we are reaching investment level 100 right there and as you can see expected profit loss ratios is now 1.54 um i believe around level 50 is when you get to the point of uh, above one so it's basically like guaranteed returns and as you can see we're up to around 2 billion in stocks and like so it takes it took forever to get to the 1 trillion but exponential growth is a thing but eventually it sort of slows down because you can only get so much money there in stocks and just a funny statistic like 2.82 trillion dollars is a lot of money to give some perspective i sort of uh, have up here the uh, gdp of the united states is only 18.5 so i've gotten what like almost 15 times more than the gdp of the United States just from selling paper clips so I don't quite think this is <laughs> what this game was intended for but it was a nice experiment and to check on it um, every day or two it would sort of crash and I'd have have to restart it and often the investment thing would switch to low risk and you say I have to switch to that and every time the uh, strategic modeling thing would crash and you'd have to sort of switch it back but it's been it's been an interesting journey, but I figured now was the time to withdraw our massive earnings and see how much. I did a little bit of math like a month or two ago to see how much this would cost. I think I figured it out like it doubles every time you get it. So I'm only going to be able to buy a couple and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to upgrade my investment engine because I figured that's a little bit more efficient than buying these individual paper clippers because these only give a certain amount of clips per second added but the marketing um, grows a little bit more exponentially so I think using that money would be better but anyway this is this is just entirely silly and beyond the design of this game and as you can see I've gotten 1.5 trillion paper clips made, which is probably more than real paper clips have ever been made. In fact, how many, how many paper clips are there in the world? Let's see if Google can answer this. 20 billion produced per year. So I think we have passed that. <laughs> oh man, this game is quite silly. Ooh, I have I have literally been waiting months to do this, so we finally get to do this. 
Oops, I didn't want to deposit. I wanted to withdraw and look at my fat stack of money right here. Oh my gosh. Oh, I've been waiting so long to do this. So, it's just without further ado. Oh, double, double, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Holy crap, we only got nine <laughs> levels of marketing. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> that is the power of exponential growth. To get to the next level of marketing, it costs $219 trillion. That is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Man, this game, this game is, is, is interesting. Um, another interesting quirk that I found is that the cost per wire, as long as you have your auto buyer going up, constantly goes up so you get into these situations where you're actually losing money from having the wire buyer on and so what you can do in those situations is completely raise the price the price of your your paperclip because you're gonna sell I, I usually have a backlog anyway and you turn it off and if you turn it off for back about a day it turns all the way back down to around 10,000 but if you see we're getting we're, we're like barely making any money because of how quickly it churns through these, but that was, that was a little bit less satisfying and cathartic, but I wanted to see what would happen because I, I went through the stage way too fast on my first playthrough and I wanted to see just how much money you can make. And now we kind of know, but a little anticlimactic considering waiting two months to buy nine stages of marketing, but whatever it was it was an interesting experiment i hope you guys enjoyed this sort of silliness that oh man this is kind of sad it's it's done but i can probably still have it running in the background for another two months <laughs> oh my gosh this has been interesting but let's just let's just buy a couple of mega clippers because we can oh yeah look how quickly those go but like it's barely affecting our clips per second and Let's buy down to uh, how expensive these are getting. Are they now one trillion? Yep, these paper clip mega clippers are now one trillion. <laughs> Exponential growth is painful. And now we we need four <laughs> four trillion dollars <laughs> to get another one. Remember, like the first ones. Oh man, it's been two months since I bought it. We're probably around like a thousand or something like that, but. Yeah, let's just let's just deposit our money and see how quickly it, it takes us to get back to two hundred trillion. <laughs> oh man. What am I doing? Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope hope you enjoyed. Maybe this was a little bit interesting, so I'm going a little bit crazy, aren't I? A little bit of a mad scientist in terms of paper clips, but I figured this would be an interesting experiment and that was slightly depressing with how little that does. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time on probably another game. I probably won't make another game about this paperclip game. But you never know. Bye-bye.